This is the Me and My Dad podcast. Warning, some will be uh, said throughout it. Mainly from that head over there. Me? Yep, you. I wonder would you lick the back of my Hello and welcome to the Me and My Dad podcast. You may have noticed that I've finally caught up with my dad in terms of bellyage. In terms of weight, in terms of bust, in terms of dad bod. What do you mean, Fanny caught up? In terms of oh, El shit. Fat Bastard. El Bastardo. Uh, there's a reason for that. The good people at Smith's Bakery, West Belfast, Andy Town Road. The yes. heart beating hub of the West. Oh, here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sorted us with buns. I ate them all. We had a good lot of them, I can tell you that. You were beating into them, are like flipping. I don't know what. Well, that's why I look like Augustus Gloop from Willy Wonka. Yeah. So, uh, listen, we couldn't help but have a wee chat with some of the legends at Smith's Bakery. Uh, it gives a wee bit of history as well, didn't it? It did indeed. How very, long very, very good. Gone, the uh, whole lovely crack. people. Only bakery in the world you walk into, you get slagged and you leave very satisfied because you get loads of cream cakes and all the good stuff. So, uh, listen, we just want to pay tribute to the wonderful people at Smith's. So, Johan. we'll have. John, John, Jim. John, Jim, yeah, all the J's. Uh, <laughs> let's cut away and check out a little bit of that sweet. See what's on there. Action now. Me and my dad podcast out and about the middle of Anderson's town. Yeah, the beating heart of West Belfast, Smith's Bakery. We're having a brilliant time here with Jim. Jim, what, what are you with the You're the owner, are you? Well, part owner, but they don't tell me too much about what's going on. <laughs> You're the Don Corleone of Smiths, technically. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm the fixer. Yeah. Aye, Clyde, but Bonnie's behind the desk. Bo- Bonnie's front of the house. He's a girl with a big bops. And there's Don Corleone hiding up the back with a grey hair. Bonnie's actually Don afraid Corleone, to speak yeah. to us. Like, we'll, we'll put the phone in front of her and she's like, no, I'm not speaking, no way, not, not happening. Uh, Jim, tell us a wee bit about the history very quickly of Smiths. Well, we opened in 1985. We started off in the wee unit in Poglas. Um, our delivery van was a Saab 19 it was wrecked, and my dad used to go in and do the bake himself at night and go out in the mornings and drive around in the car, snooping left, right and centres, trying to get orders, and basically we just snowballed from there. And I, I love the pun, snowball, that was yeah. absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. And tell me this, when did you just move to Andy Town then from? 1985, this was always a bakery. This used to be a woman called Bergen, and this was a bakery forever. I think from day one this place opened. Um, and she just the, the woman was old, and she just decided to retire. My dad got a whisper that she was selling up so I think it was Christmas Eve in 1985 and he drove down to her house and says I want to buy your shop and she accepted the offer and the estate agent actually went boogaloo because he says it was worth far more than that but the woman was happy enough and we were even more happy to get in here but it took us about six months to get the place converted and then that was us open for business Happy days so far I'll deal Tell me this uh, coming up as a business in West Belfast through the 80s and 90s that must have been challenging have you any mad stories for us? Well it was, we were working one time and it was the, probably the height of the troubles for me I was born in 72 I know it was intense for myself. people in the 70s <laughs> <laughs> um, there, was a, there, was a, there was a bomb left down the side of the bakery and supposedly it was taken away so the, the army and the police come up and bang the shutters urgent urgent get out there's a, there's a live explosive so uh John came out this and everyone was in the back. We all started to panic and get changed. And he says, oh, what are you doing? He pulled the shutter down and locked us in the shop. And he says, the British government will pay your wages. I do, and I get back to work. Um, we were here as well when the time there was the attack on Connolly House. Um, it happened right outside here. Mm. I was talking to an old man called Mr. French. God rest him, he's not here now. And uh, we were just down talking. He was an old, old man then. And I turned around and there was these guys in boiler suits beside me. And I was like, what the hell? Do you know what I mean? Uh, and, it's, it's, uh, living in Andy Town, I think you were in the middle of everything, but uh, what it seems extreme now and, and beyond words was normal. Yeah. You know, it's so strange. Do you know what? Everyone on the road obviously knows Smith's like everyone in West uh, Belfast, further afield as well, but here, not even just with us normal people, some celebrity VIPs, I believe, as well, Jim. Yes. With Neil Young. Um, Neil Young? Neil Young, he, uh, he was in tour in Dublin. Um, we got a phone call from Dublin. We thought it was a wind up, actually. It was one of his entourage. And it says, Neil Young has heard your bread comes highly recommended in your pastries. So we're saying, right, OK, what can we do for you? And he says, he's in the Odyssey and would like to spend £200 on your products. So we thought it was a bit of someone winding us up. Um, and then we realised the end of the call it wasn't. But Neil Young, 
is anti-plastic, anti-wrapping, anti-preservatives, anti-everything. So everything had to be indiv- individually wrapped in uh, paper and sent down to the Odyssey. And he'd done a tweet or someone from his thing on his Twitter back then when it only started off. Just he couldn't believe the stuff and the quality and just traditional foods and Westlife sent up for cakes at the last minute. Different members, bands, birthdays and. Martin McGuinness wouldn't have missed coming down here back in the day for his pastry to bring up the dairy and used to be an argument outside here between him and Adams who he was paying because he always had this wee scam nobody had any money typical politicians <laughs> you know what I mean you know what I mean no Northern Bank yeah. he always, Martin, <laughs> Martin always made a beeline for here Martin always made a beeline for here and Jerry stood with hands in the pockets so nothing's changed early well, Jerry crock pockets was it Jim you're a legend thank you very much we're going to we're going to take some of your buns up now to the podcast <laughs> You're more than welcome any time you're down. Anyway. We're obviously going to pay, by the way. Yeah, we'll let you off this time as you... Uh, there we go. <laughs> That's good old Jim from the road. Happy days. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate this, lads. See, told you. What amazing people. Thank you very much, Smiths. I've lost all the weight. Went jogging. Fantastic. Went jogging. Hey, lost all the weight. You want some too, haven't you? Cracking, weren't you? Brilliant. Ah, oh, brilliant. You got brilliant. the feeling, but I never touched him. No, here. Got to taste him, too. No, I had to touch That's a man's iced, iced an finger story. out the back. I had a nice finger. I'm glad I didn't ask for muffins. <laughs> you didn't ask for what? Muffins. Muffins? Uh-huh. You dirty brute. <laughs> Just to say the word uh, muff. Ends. Muffins. Muff. Uh, now, you may remember in season one that uh, you approached, well, basically everyone you know, and you asked them to send you some voice notes. We're still trying to get through them in season two. I know. We're that bloody mm-hmm. popular. We got three years and one minute. I know, but mine was Kieran Bartlett, so you got away up the. He keeps saying that. He hasn't appeared yet. You know, Kieran will be here. He has given me his word that he will come here at some point when he's not busy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that, on. is that the politest way to um, say fuck off? Right. I don't want to come on to your <laughs> podcast. You I thought dick. Kieran was a straight dog, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Kieran, Kieran Bartlett's a lovely fella. In fact, I know, in I fact, know his family well. On. He sent me out a free T-shirt in the post the other week. Did he? Uh, a wee dirties T-shirt. Oh, you're joking, did he? Wee wee, dirties? Do you know wee dirties? Uh huh. He goes around all like the food the places. places and we should send him to Smith's yeah, Bakery. Today's wee, wee dirties. Dirty oh, today's We're gonna we- feel mm-hmm. Joanne's baps. We're gonna touch Jim's coconut finger. Jesus, only you can come off with something like that there. And oh, look at the cherry bake wells on that. Uh-huh. Just well, <laughs> a creamy Dan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, uh, we'll have a few voice notes anyway to get through because in season one you send a message to everybody you know. And to be fair to you, everybody you know come back to you and send some voice notes. You may recognise this voice. Davey here. Best of luck with the podcast, mate. Been dealing with you for about 30, 35 years. You must be getting a hang of it now. Will you ever forget that story, Mick? Me, you and Daisy in a scroll and them seaweed baths? Your man says if he pulls that chain half the Atlantic Ocean's coming on him. The screams of poor Desi. Brilliant. Great weekend. Best of luck, mate. Ah, oh, Desi. Desi indeed. And and Davy there. Davy sold you many's a car. Mm-hmm. Oh, he did. Great guy. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I should probably mention as well, Desi no longer with us. God rest him. I beat you to it that time. He did. Just saying. Yeah. But Desi oh. was a gentleman. Oh. One of a funny, funny, One of funny man. The funniest guys yeah. you're right in saying that funny you'll man. ever meet in your life. Funny man. Um what happened there with the uh seaweed baths? What was that? Well, we were in an Inishcrone place called Any Scrone. I remember that. Um, you took me there as a child. Hold on, by the way, right, you're first born, <laughs> right, my sister, you're first born, you just took the fucking Disneyland. You just went, you just, you just had VHSs, right? Kiva's first Mickey Mouse, Kiva's first fucking Donald Duck, oh. Kiva on Space Mountain. Kiva in Cinderella's castle with her wee wand, isn't it so cute? Where did Declan go fucking in a scrone? A B and B in in a scrone, which smelt like fag and sausages. Because you were eating from your no head. And it was also sm- <laughs> <laughs> cheeky bastard. It was also smoking from it was no height as well. Uh-huh. Sat people you- in fire too. That's, yeah, that's another story. That's we'll, an story. We'll get I- to that later. Yep. But uh I in a scrone, so thanks for that. And then because Kiva was your firstborn, you just took fucking stacks of videos. I think parents did VHS's yeah, they fucking that. was parents it just tend to do that? You know that loads of videos of their firstborn, and then a second child comes along, and especially you know when it comes I may, to their know, day, I may have, searching for photos. <laughs> I may have mentioned this before. I had one VHS in the house 
of a memory of me as a child, right? And it was Declan's P2 fucking nativity. And it was the school that fucking took it. It wasn't even you, you bastard parents. It was the uh. school that fucking filmed it and then sent it home. And then I found it quite recently. And I went, you know what? I'm going to stick that on. Hold on. I, uh, no, hold on. Let me get to the crux of this story. I had my best tea towel on because I was a shepherd. I had the dressing gown or house coat, depending on where in Belfast you're from and how posh you are. Fucking house <laughs> coat. Do you say house coat? No, I'm still laughing at you saying house no, coat. No, I say dressing gown. Uh, but exactly. there's some people that say house coat. So I have my dressing gown on, my wee tea towel around the head and all with the you know the string of the dressing gown tied yeah, around my head tied like, the middle, yeah. like a shepherd. Yeah. Uh kitted out to the nines, was watching it and all. I had one line before you got to my fucking line, EastEnders come on. <laughs> The only <laughs> fucking video I have of my childhood, Mick tapes no, no. Trevor battering Little Mo with an iron uh, on fucking New Year's Day. And I'm like, hold on, hold childhood on. memories fucked. I challenge that. Go on. Because there's a video and you, I think you have a two of you doing a fashion show. Yes, there when is. You, when you Again, were younger. Again, you used it in fucking video that. Uh, no, no. St. Michael's well, Youth Club, where you started your DJ international that. career. Video I, that I and I think John Daly done the thing, the the compare the fashion show. You compared it, did I? Yes. Well, maybe that's why we asked you. Yeah. Cheeky <laughs> bastard. <laughs> you were the compare, and then you always have a special <laughs> needs. <change. laughs> Can't say that. Funny joke, funny joke. Can't say that. All right, it's only a joke for flip sick. You're allowed to joke these days. But you are right, I am a bit special, like. You are. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're special. <laughs> special type of person. So what did you do? Fucking marched me down the catwalk to Postman Pat? No, we didn't. We played uh, Prince 2000, 1999. Never remember No, it. you didn't. And we played... You hey, don't even remember. We're you were the going host. to... Barbados. Correct, because it was before the Vanga Boys came out with a pizza. I have something to tell you. I definitely did not walk down to the aisle in 1999. Did you not? Definitely not. That must have been an It was Postman show. Pat, because I had my Postman Pat telling you. Did, you were in fucking watching. You were probably out having a fag. Oh, you I did, doing, you did. I was doing my big moment, mix out smoking, chain smoking, no, still cut no, no, purple in did, the car park, chatting up people being like, here, I'm the fucking resident DJ here. Do you like that? Do you love? You did. You come down to Postman Pat. You carry on a wee Postman Pat and yes. waving at everybody. And yeah. all the wee women in the audience were like, oh. he's fucking gorgeous. Uh, they, were. they weren't they? And that's just yeah. the men. <laughs> 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 I and play. I can't say thanks, but me. That place was mad, like. Look, they were the good old days. Absolutely old mad. Days. Let's talk about it in a scrum, but right, that my Disneyland, yeah. my fucking Florida. Any scrum? Thanks. Great place. Um, the place that we stay in is no longer a bed and breakfast. The, <laughs> they're all. The, and this is are, gospel truth. They, they are dead. They they're are all dead. dead. Morrow dead. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Deceased. God rest her. God rest you. Lovely Brady, woman. Lovely woman. Dead. Who was gone? Who was dead? Basil Faulty before fucking Basil Faulty Not even come on the scene. Pulse. Dead. Brady. Uh, unbelievable. You must remember going there and I'm telling you, you know, if you were running. Brady. Things, going, Brady. Now, can I say this? Well, Brady had a. She was fond of the scoop. Oh, like, uh, the juice. She wasn't dead. She, she loved the dead. owl. She's dead. Devil's petrol. <laughs> She absolutely loved it, like, right? <laughs> what? And fuck, I remember one time I asked, she should have been black by day o'clock. Should we like ginger curly locks, didn't she? She did, uh, And she came up to me one time, she was like, What do you want for your dinner? Like, she was really abrupt. And I went, Oh, I want sausages. And she was like, Fucking sausages, sausages, fucking sausages. And it was like I asked her to fucking punch someone's sainted mother. I literally just said, So she asked me a question, What do you want for dinner, sausages? She took scissors to me. What? Do you not remember? She took scissors to me and went, cut I'll cut your sa- I'll fucking sausages. Sa- I'll fucking sausage you. And I'm going, Kiva at this point was in fucking Epcot. I'm getting threatened no, with won't. scissors in, in a scrone by a wee alcoholic ginger woman in Who's the Who's no world's, longer with us. Who's no longer with us. Yeah. In the shittest b and <laughs> It wasn't. It was great. It was bollocks. It was great. It was. it was like, do you know, Good Father Ted, days. where they go and play mini golf? <laughs> That's what it was like out the back. There was a mini golf course. <laughs> yes. And it, there was a woman, there was a seven hole mini golf course out the back. Seven holes. But here, hold on a minute. Fucking seven. 
We we weren't far from the Holy Stone of Clonricker. <laughs> <laughs> knock. Knock was just That's down true. the road. That's and true. you remember the first time we went to Knock? Knock, if you've never been there, a wee it's dead village now. in the west of Ireland, right? It's, it's dead now. A wee village in the west of Ireland, <laughs> and you drive into Knock, and it's like driving into Las Vegas. <laughs> Las Vegas? Oh, they've all stalls on either side of the road. Selling, you you put your your penny and the and the Virgin Lady's fucking feet and her headlights up. <laughs> Where the con? They're selling stuff that is just ridiculous. Fucking windmills up. with Jesus on top of them. <laughs> when you put the money in, the fucking windmills go round. Unbelievable. <laughs> Car stickers with Mary and Joseph like this here. Oh, thumbs, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs oh, up if you love Jesus. It was flipping crazy. Well, it was. Roses are reds, violets are blue. I died for you. <laughs> Car stickers. I, I, Jesus saves, but fucking Liam O'Shea gets the rebound. <laughs> what was? What was? Oh, unbelievable. They sold everything. They sold everything. Knox oh, famous hell. for that. The Irish took oh. it really on board. You know the way Lourdes had all the holy stuff. Well, the Irish they, just they all took put holy serious. stuff up the point. Put a bit made a few a few punts. It got slightly tacky. <laughs> oh, oh, very tacky. <laughs> As really, the years went on, really like really it? tacky. Yeah. But uh, Jesus, I never forget. And it's grown like water place. The holy water was salt water. <laughs> <laughs> and it went into the sea, filled up the wee Jesus uh, or the wee Mary bottles. Just went for it, like. Oh no. It was I an know, absolute good crack. But that's Desi. What what happened was uh we booked Desi in the seaweed baths. Right. Now, not like the hot tubs we have now. Is it like the Turkish seaweed baths? No, you went Do up you know, to this. Scald you or not scald you, freeze you. It was a it would been like a huge bath that you, you, you sort of got into, right? Don't believe you. <laughs> okay. Full of seaweed. Right. <laughs> the seaweed baths, serious? Yeah. Full of seaweed. Okay. Now, it was sort of, when I say look warm, that's been kind. That's been kind. They sort of heated it up a tad. So they took it from minus fucking four to <laughs> about, about minus one. So you were in this here, and it was all, it was great, whatever. And then the guy gave you these instructions over a wee fucking thing. I came through to we hope you're enjoying your experience here in the seaweed bath. No. I was just a wee guy next door with a uh, microphone. A wee microphone. <laughs> I was going for <laughs> If you would like to stand up and pull the chain above you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> See, anybody with a strong heart, which Desi didn't have, right? He pulled the chain, and as if fucking Davy said, the Atlantic Ocean came in on top of you. It was fucking freezing. And I mean... <laughs> Baltic, Baltic polar bears would have fucking run out of the place. You pu- you pulled the chain and I came and Desi, who never cursed, this oh is the God. truth. You know him, never cursed. Gentleman, would, uh, totally not a bad word and a real church going one. Have he pulled the chain and all you heard was, "Oh mother of fucking Jesus!" <laughs> <laughs> and Davy says, "Yeah, must be bad if Desi came out with that." Oh it was God. it was horrendous. That's absolutely was, wild. <laughs> and when we looked across, it was a big lump of fucking seaweed. <laughs> Down the side of his face. Off his head. <laughs> oh, my God. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. my God. And it was it didn't come in like a shower. When you pulled this chain, the fucking ceiling opened. It oh, was like a and chamber above you. It dropped down, yeah. No, it was... It's like me opening that trap door. <laughs> right? You just pull that the fucking up. I swear to God, a whole bath full of fucking shit hit you in the head, freezing. <laughs> Did you do it? We 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 done it. After we done it the said, year before, so we knew what was coming. So you said poor Desi, in, Desi who up. had a heart condition, by the but way. We sat him up. I with that. Jesus Christ! But we used to do things again and get away with him. And that's what. Killed and he him. sat in the bar that night and it didn't kill him. I'm joking. I'm joking. Sat in the bar that night and laughed about it. Like, but God love him. Like he was, he was dead going to shit. Desi, I remember in the later years after that when you brought us there, like in holidays. Sure, remember he was a character. We put like we had false food and we put the false peas on his plastic plate and all. Peas, and he sat f- trying to cut them. Trying to cut the plastic <laughs> peas that <laughs> shot across the room. <laughs> fucking and he, and he, he said stuck the fork. He, he stuck a fork and went. For fuck's sake, tell more of those peas are hard. <laughs> they're fucking plastic. They're fucking plastic. Who done that? You actually said they're they're, they're colder than the seaweed bath. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Absolutely mad that place. Do you know what? But I'm I'm only slagging because. Obviously, yes, you did bring us there, but those are the memories that you do hold on to. See, when you go to wee places like that and family holidays, Aye. like I was down with Kelly, we were down the west of Ireland a good few years ago, 
And I said to her, do you mind if we call past in a scrum? Uh-huh. She went, why? And I went, because that's we, I went there as a child a number of times. And yeah. you know what? It would just bring back, see the nostalgia when you go back and you see the wee place is still there. Yeah. Not a B&B, like you said, but the wee building's still the wee there. Building's and the wee house, there. the wee cottage that we stayed out the back end, still there. Yeah. The wee golf course with seven golf holes, still there. <laughs> it's all fucking still there. The bollard you hit with a new car, still there. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse. Okay, I remember. I know. I know. It's like... You remember because you were there with me too, Tremor. We do the same. Tremor, we down to what Tremor, a place. And my kids and I, they, they go to Tremor and they love it. Yeah. Love it. But I remember going and loving it as a child. It was my father, my own father that brought me there. And the memories you made, you try to pass them on. You do. You do. And do you know what you did? Because then I was sort of thinking before the end of this summer... I wanted to bring Eve and Kelly because Kelly and I went to Tremor when she was pregnant with Eve. So you did. And then right. I, I put, we went in fucking November when everything was yeah, shut down. Everything was shut down. <laughs> and Kelly came and was like, really, is this the fucking place you yeah. went to? And I was like, no, you want to see it in the summer. Like when it's all buzzing and beautiful and, yeah. you know. So uh, we're going to try and get down before the end of the summer to Tremor. So I'd love if you would come too. You, you, you should really because the, the wee amusement park there, given the uh, the age... Who Eve, Eve on the waltzers at one and a half? No, no, but you know the wee train that goes around the whole park and the wee ah, boat yeah, lake and that. Eve would, and there's so many kiddie raids and what have Mad. you there. Eve would love it. So it did you school there on holiday when you were a kid? Yeah, yeah. How'd you get down? Did the Granda drive? The Granda drove for eight hours. And an old Hillman Hunter, no less. Was a Hillman Hunter and a Ford Anglia was the first thing we went in. Both dead Five now. of us. Of course. Oh, sorry, <laughs> mum, dad, and. Jared, Brenton, me, Mary, and Catherine. So, five, in a five-seater car, five children, in a four-seater car. <laughs> One, two, and three on the back. Sorry, five-seater car. You're right. Um, and all piled in, all piled in. It's like the Vaughn traps. I am with the suitcases on the refract that my daddy borrowed of a friend of his for the refract, and eight-hour journey. All the back roads of Ireland, the whole way down. Through How Ball did you not kill each other? Here we used to have quizzes in the way down. And your granda would have got, laugh, got the slipper off. Hit you with the slipper. Oh, your granda put on the old eight track. Sydney Devane. What's that? Tiny now? bubbles <laughs> in the air. Tiny bubbles everywhere. Fucking between that and Jim Reeves. I hear the sound of distant drums. You got the whole eight track the whole way down and the crack was flipping. You know, you just... Philomena Fegley, or Philomena Fegley, as we used to call her. Philomena Fegley. And the blanket on the ground. Your granddad was in the all the country. Music. Big Tom and the mainliners. Fuck it. I could think of nothing worse. Driving eight hours back in the day, because it was, to Tremor in a Hillman Hunter with a hundred people in the back. You know, well, there was worse. If you could put my aunt on, you fucking said the rosary between Belfast and Uri. That was worse. <laughs> That's the that most anti thing I've oh, ever heard in my life. Jesus. And you had to know it. You had to count it on your fingers when she's right, your turn. It was horrendous. That's not a holiday. That's a rosary. Like, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Sorry to anybody who like prays every day and all that. Like, but fucking rosary on your holidays, like it's well, a bit it was torture. It was a start of your holiday. Jesus Christ! But the once the rosary was over, then you enjoyed yourself. We stayed in the caravan park down there, Atlantic View, and my mate still owns a chip shop down there now. That is Billy well McCarthy. Billy McCarthy. Yeah. Do you know what? Is this a true story? Right? We talked to Billy McCarthy. Years ago when we were there, he never come up north. He wouldn't come north. No, he's too afraid. But has he since? No, nope. still won't come up. He has never no, been. Still won't come up. Up north, still won't come up. His wife Yvonne, I've told him to come up, enjoy the shopping, come up. They can stay here. They can, and I'll take them everywhere. He's never come up. Jesus, never come up. He just won't do it. Why is he? Does he still think I it's nineteen seventy? He's been to Lanzarote and he's been to the. But he just he takes a fear. He had a. It, to be fair, he had an uncle who was a guard sergeant in Dundalk. Right. During the times of the Troubles and it probably put him off his stories and whatever, you know. But That's fair enough. Sure. Fair enough. One of those things. Jesus, well, here he runs a great chipper down in Tremor. Oh, brilliant. Remember that, Jesus. See the chips fresh on the seaside. I always remember that. Sitting Amazing. The oh. and, and, here the and the wee goals. shop, the sandcastle. You see that. That's right, the sandcastle was run by a sister. I was run by a sister yeah. next door. Um, but here, even that, like from you took me there as a kid, thanks again, Kiva Disneyland, uh, Tremor. <laughs> but here, <laughs> class. But um, 
even from when I went, it's changed so much. Okay, but I mean, it, everything's got Never loses its now. charm, but... No, it, to me it never does. Probably people go to it now and go, it's not the same as what it was because everything's commercialized now, but I just loved the place. I just loved growing up. I mean, you see, at the height of the troubles here, we went down there one time and Billy's family, like, I stay on for like an extra, you know what I mean? But a time and a crack that we had, and he used to work for his daddy in the chipper. I can mm. tell you what, his dad was an old Irish. You know, he used to go, you're fucking cool and those fucking chips wrong, you stupid bastard. You know, that's what he told me. <laughs> fucking yeah, da- hell. You dozy ficker, you know. Oh, you here stupid he- naughty cunt. Yeah, that's the, way, that's the way he was. And you laughed, what have you? And you're fucking They're cutting the me. chips too uh, thin. It's not fucking McDonald's, you little bastard. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the way he would have been. And that's where I learnt. I'd sooner shite on a burger king. Well, you're talking about shite, right? What, what, take, what, what the fuck? Take you down another road. That's where I learnt. See seagulls? That's where I learnt. That seagulls love chips, right? And li- in later years, because Billy and I used to fucking play tricks on people, man, have you know that? You put them out for it. Somebody was checking the chip shops. Oh, there's a wee seat outside there in the sun. You yeah, fuck sun. chips at them? I, no, we had the fucking seagulls. We, we nearly had them trained for fuck's sake, you know. <laughs> had, oh, it was brilliant. But I done it on Danny Fulton. I, do you know what? And I'm sorry to cut across you. The seagulls in Belfast are rough as fuck. Oh, like, here, I know. Tattoos and the fucking, oh, yeah. you know, they're all divorced. And, ah, and, you know, fuck it. Yeah. Like, ah, nearly yeah. on the talk. I'd say a Waterford seagull would steal your mass car. Like, well... <laughs> I'd say they would be cheeky bastards. The oh, Waterford yeah, Seagulls. Like. Good fun with the Waterford Seagulls. They were, well, Tremor Seagulls. <laughs> Hold on a minute. No, I had. But they they were just territorial. See, the Tremor see the Seagulls work, work in the fun fair. You know what I mean? Like, so they'd be like, sit down on the ride, you little bastard. Ah, yeah, but they, they knew, the, the Tremor Seagulls knew they'd always get chips because you're right down to the seafront. Of course, yeah. By the way, you're always getting people, holiday makers, chips. But when you I'm come just to, shocked you give away chips. When you come to Belfast and you went up the junior school, <laughs> stop with Mountain. Oh, yes. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, right? yep, LaSalle Junior School. And we had a fella, Danny Fulton, and Danny and Polygar loved their cars. You remember, like they had, but especially Polygar, he had the BMW when BMWs only came out during the nerdy era. The when BMWs only came out? What fucking age are you? Yeah, do you know what I mean? You know, that real sporty looking cars, loved their cars. And, uh, <laughs> we, we, we used to go Kentucky That only came out then I remember the Slim Chips Can I say something right Yeah See Kentucky Fried Chicken uh, You can only get it In Protestant areas Do you want me to comment on that Or do you want yeah. me to Yeah well that That was because The person that bought The franchise For Kentucky Belonged to A certain Order Right And, and they were only set up Right In areas Okay Oh that's a fact that's here. That's I was waiting just... on someone starting a revolution or something. Kentucky or la. That'd be a good slogan for a new Kentucky, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kentucky or <are> ma. <laughs> <laughs> Open one there, ma. Kentucky that's, or ma. That's fine, girl. That's good. No, here you can't talk about those. Th- <laughs> fuck's sick. Let me get back to seagulls, I'm will only you? joking, yes. Go ahead. So... <laughs> By the way, we love everyone on this podcast. Do, it's only, it's only yeah, a bit of crack. It's 100%. Only a bit of crack. We're only winding you up. Um, we, 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 uh, we got down to Kentucky and bought a load of chips. Danny had bought this new new whip, as you call them. Brand new car. Never said that, but Loved okay. It. Yeah. Loved his car, right? Gleaming black, right? So we went <laughs> down to Kentucky, bought chips. And my had like, you know, like the loose? Laxative? Lactaloose in a bottle. Oh, fuck. I'm used to dip my chips in a lactaloose. It's not lactaloose. <laughs> I don't lactaloose. Fuck, I tell you what. <laughs> you knew what it was when you fucking took it. Loosened the hurley anyway. <laughs> right, 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 right. Go ahead. Right. The type of stuff you take sitting on a toilet. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we did. We dipped the chips in it. Put it all around Danny's car and put the odd chip on top. You know, to, to entice the seagulls in. What I mean? <laughs> they used that junior school had the big pitch. Uh, at the you front, know, when, yeah, I, when yeah. I was wet there, whatever the seagulls would have come along, whatever you know, fuck me. He, he used to come out and say, "Fucking car, the bastards! Why are they only shit in my car?" <laughs> His car used to be covered in bird shit, and the rest of them but were he sweet. Didn't know for about a month. 
that it was us. Did you just do that for a solid month? Just to wind him up. That's like brilliant. Because he cracked up. He fucking, and he stood one day, and I, gospel, honest truth, Jerry Armstrong will tell you this, he stood one day, pointing at the sky, it has made it gone that much. He came out of the school, and he was standing <laughs> all the kids along the windows we're, at the front of the school. The staff Mr. Windows. Lost it. His car was covered in fucking shit because we went really far that day. I put a lot of them. Right, his car's covered in shit. And he stood and he was pointing to the sky going, you fucking bastards. At the birds. He's talking to the birds. You fucking bastards. Would you just fuck off and leave my car alone? Right. <laughs> Where's that? It's after school. Now the kids are away. But we're standing in oh, the staff room window looking at him, pointing at the sky. And the next thing, Danny was bald. (laughs) 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 And he just threw the most fucking biggest wobbler I've ever heard of a person trying to reason me a bird. (laughs) Did the the bird shit in his head? Fucking, you fucking not listening to me. (laughs) (laughs) It shit in his head, eh? That's brilliant, the timing. See, when fucking. Jim Tracy, God rest him. I only died about two months ago. That's right, so he did. Uh, God rest him, is right. Jim Re- Tracy told him, Donnie, listen, that's that fucker Wilson. <laughs> Jim ran a joke, did he? He ran a The seagulls. Well, and Donnie walked in the P room and hit me a punch in the face. <laughs> Front of everybody. Just walked in. I have a bone to pick me, whack in the face, and everybody went, Donny, Donny, Donny! And that fucking bastard been feeding seagulls and been shaking my car for two months. <laughs> and was, all I could do was laugh. Was Danny Fulton the oh, same Danny. fella with the water balloon incident? Oh, he was. Was that Danny? Yeah. yeah. It, it was an extra strong water balloon. That was filled up the size of a medicine ball. Can you remember medicine balls? I don't know. Jurex did water balloons. Extra that straws. This was <laughs> the door opened. Paul O'Gara, who was a North teacher in the school, who filled the water balloon. Paul O'Gara. Oh, gee, right. right. Okay. Danny used to sit every day, and he had his lunch, but he had a wee packed lunch on his lap. He was very prim and proper, but wasn't he? Was, he? He'd, he'd, how many cheese sandwiches? A tomato. I cut into triangles and yeah, all, like, a wee cup neatly of arranged. Oh, his wife had it, and a wee bun, because his wife baked every day. But didn't he have, like, a linen fold over, like, to put in his knee? Yes, he did. And he had a comb over. I must stress at this point, Danny had a comb over. You know, a Ralph coach, as we are, Bobby Charton, he, used to, he combed his hair from one side to the other, just to make it seem Was it like a wee, hair. excuse the pun, a seagull's wing? Just yeah, sort of, just to um, make it seem yeah. he had hair when he didn't actually have hair. People nowadays just... Was it fake? Me. Like, was it a toupee? No, it was it was her comb from fucking oh. his armpit over his fucking head. <laughs> Basically, that's what a comb over was. Oh, sick, right, right. But <laughs> the door opened, and I'm sitting, and Danny's where you are. So I'm sitting here. The door opened, <laughs> and this water balloon was coming towards me. This fucking water balloon, the size of a medicine ball. I went, oh fuck! <laughs> and this could, I swear to God, if you'd done this a hundred times, I'd have been soaked. <laughs> but on the one occasion, I put my hands up, and because they were flat, the balloon <laughs> came in, enveloped around my hands, right? <laughs> didn't burst, but I went, get it away from me. <laughs> this fucking thing hit Danny's head. <laughs> I swear to God, it was like, uh, it was like just a shower of water. <laughs> right? Just a shower of water oh. emptied onto his head, right? And, and oh, and Jesus. His wee fucking, you know, his wee silk thing. His sandwiches went to mush. His <laughs> lunchbox was full of water. His sandwiches went to mush. And his comb over, right? <laughs> Came down like his hair was hanging down the side of his head. Right? So he had this big long hair hanging down. So, so what do you do when you turn and you see somebody like that there? Pitch no, yourself laughing. Correct. Right? <laughs> Paul O'Gara <laughs> ran out the door because he seen what happened went, oh fuck. Because he meant it to hit me. I'm going to hit Danny who was his head of the department, his senior. Right? When I flicked it on to Danny and it hit him, he went, oh fuck, run out the door. Right? O'Gara ran. O'Gara ran. Oh, right? Tim Tracy, me, Eugene Turner. You remember Eugene? Yeah. Eugene sitting facing and Eugene went, <laughs> when it happened, started to laugh. And I pissed myself laughing <laughs> and ordered digging the gob. He got up. <laughs> His lunch went fried, threw it all over the place, and he went, You fuckers think you're funny? Punched me in the side of the head, went out, got in his car, and drove home. 
And he had classes to teach in the afternoon. Did he come back? His wife. His wife phoned the school. And says, <laughs> Cause he get out with a water balloon. What are you doing with my husband? You said I'm tortured. And his wife's a lovely one. I just phoned. love the, Mac- the, Mac- irony, Mac- the irony is <sighs> the first prank he got shit on. The second prank he actually got a fucking shower out of it. And he got stung by bees the other day too, but that's another story. But we we did. This guy's had a fucking mur. Oh, like. here. When I think about it, Victor Meldry was big on TV then. And I could imagine Danny at home, his wife coming home. Cause she taught herself. She came home and he was sitting there. <laughs> Covered Obviously, in shit. And his wee tracksuit he changed. <laughs> and what are you doing home? Because he always travelling away. Because they live near Lauren. And <laughs> travelling across. The, I called you home earlier today. Don't fucking talk to me. Is how he opened it. And bastard Wilson soaked me. I didn't. It was I was sitting there having my lunch. You just perfectly just deflected the water put balloon. Put my hands up to protect me and the balloon exploded around him. That's mad. All right. So that's Danny. Shit by seagulls and covered in water. Jesus Christ. Like Stung by a bee. And then we dressed the skeleton up in his fucking tracksuit and put it in the, the change room. <laughs> <laughs> when he came back in August, the skeleton oh. was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> and Danny's full gear oh here well here another episode done and dusted uh, looking forward to the next week because we're going to be joined with another guest so uh, make sure you come back to find out who that is uh, also more voice notes to get through too we'll do that next week as well couldn't help but notice you're sporting your Cliftonville jersey oh here a big shout out because I got a lot of voice notes from the Cliftonville ladies senior team mm. who just won the cup there Wait, isn't he well done there Mickey, Declan Oh, I thought that was my applause. Sorry, I'm screwing up here. Hey, well done, Cliftonville. Oh, well done, Cliftonville. Great team. Great match, On you, girls, you. And then, obviously, your sister plays for them. And uh, the wee 2012 team and I take have done so well. And they've always said to me, you know where you're Cliftonville? Not that they would watch us, their parents. Like, <laughs> so Jesus, like, I hope I not. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. We'd have some explaining to do. So... I said the next one, I will wear the Cliftonville top and the Cliftonville flag behind me. I can imagine a wee under 12 from Cliftonville. Mummy, what's a... <laughs> Where'd you learn that? <laughs> Our coach was talking about it. The me and my dad in podcast. It's <laughs> brilliant, so it is. Jesus, I get sacked. Telling you. Uh, so listen, thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for sharing because that's what you're going to do. You're going to share it. Yes, please. You're going to tag people in it and you're going to be like... This is just the best podcast I've ever watched in my life. Or listened to in my life. Good crack. Because you can crack. listen if you don't like the look of us two Muppets. We're like two old fellas from the Muppets, aren't we? Mm. <laughs> Waldorf and Startler. Stantler and Waldorf, I think their names are. Oh, no. What did I say? Startler? Startler and Walker or something. Waldorf and Statler. Startler, I said. But that's them. That's the anyway, team. two fuckers from the Muppets. Uh, listen, thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe. Listen, click links below, and that'll take you to all sorts of places where you can see more of us and more of the yeah. episodes. And even in Australia, you can see us in Australia, can't you? Yeah, of course you can. What? Paul, Murray, and all the, in Australia. Oh, you can see us in Australia. Yeah, yeah I yeah, thought I think you I said like you click an episode where you can watch us in Australia. I was like definitely fucking not. They sent a message yeah. saying we're missing the, the crack down under here. Can you get back onto the podcast? Podcast, so. yeah, yeah. And with listeners in America, listen, we're pretty, we're pretty, we're a pretty fucking big deal. So share it and uh, listen. We'll catch you on the flip side, motherfuckers, motherfuckers. Language. Sorry. It's like the news, isn't it?